morning everyone it's another wonderful day today and i have to share another video transition tutorial with you guys so i don't think that can be done from here right so let's move back to the studio so we are back to the studio what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine it's great to see all your smiling faces Today in this video we are going to discuss a new method of transition uh, which is called the rolling transition. Yeah, the one that you just saw. So this particular transition can be done in two different ways, either horizontal or vertical. The example that I will be showing you today will be of the vertical process and I will be telling you the changes that you need to make to implement the horizontal one. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into the video. Let's dive into Premiere Pro. Uh, the, I suppose you have already selected the two clips that you want to apply the transition to. Uh, in my case, I have already selected them and dragged them onto the timeline. The very next thing that you want to do is move the cursor onto the new item button and click on it and you will find an, a new adjustment layer option. Go ahead and create it and drag it over to the timeline above the two, two selected clips. I don't want this to be this long, so I'm Cutting it short, select the adjustment layer and go into the effect panel and look for offset effect and drag the offset onto the adjustment layer. Now go to the effects control panel, you'll see the offset property added to the effects control. So move the pointer to the center of the two clips and use the arrow keys to move it 8 frames left of the clip and add a keyframe and leave the values as default, move the pointer to the center of the two clips and use the arrow keys to move it 8 seconds after the current position and add another keyframe. So at this point, you can change either the x value or the y value. So if you change the x value, you will be able to apply the horizontal transition and if you change the y value, you will be able to apply the vertical transition. So in this case, I'll be applying the vertical transition. So I want to move the Y value. So what the offset property does it is it repeats each frame onto itself. Suppose if I change the Y value, so you will see the frame is getting repeated again and again. So I'll be repeating it five times for this example. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. And make sure all the edges match to itself and none of the uh, extra edges from the next frame is seen. So to make sure it is, it is matching the actual clip, you can add another keyframe of blend with original and move the pointer one second after the current position and add another keyframe and make the value of this particular property as 100%. So now let me go ahead and play this video and show it to you. So you see the uh, transition is almost done. It's implemented properly. The only thing pending to do now is applying the motion blur. For that you need to search for another property called blur and you will find a property called directional blur under the blur and sharpen folder. Go ahead and drag it over to the adjustment layer. Move on to the effects control panel and add a keyframe for the blur length and make the value to be 70. So if you see there is this blur effect added onto the frame. So what you can do is you can change this particular value to increase the amount of blur or decrease the amount of blur. So I'll be making it as around 50 in my particular example. You can play around with this value according to your needs now. Go ahead and select the pointer and move it to the first keyframe that we had created earlier and add another keyframe for blur length and make it as zero. Now select the pointer and move it to the last keyframe that we had added and make the blur length property as zero again. It is increasing the amount of blur from zero. 250 in my case 
and then back to zero. Now let me go ahead and play this video and show it to you. Yeah, pretty cool, right? To make it look even more effective, what you can do is you can go ahead and add a sound effect to it. So I have this sound effect already imported into the into Premiere Pro. I'll go ahead and drag it onto the timeline. And let's go ahead and play the video and see. Pretty great, right? It looks good. So go ahead and try this particular transition on two various different tips and see which one suits the best and which one uh, solves your purpose of implementing this. I hope you liked the video and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button if that's something you are into. Comment down below which is the next transition technique you want me to share with you guys. Share this video with as many of your friends as possible and help them make better videos today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.